Hi, welcome back. Another important uh, discussion. So, hello friends and professionals. So, what is the topic today? How to cancel billing and different ways to find canceled billing document status in SAP ECC or S4 HANA. Okay, let's try to have a look around that. So, the transaction code for this is BF11. Okay, let's go to SAP quickly. And uh, let me try to show you. So let's, okay, let's try to create an order. Okay, the session is got expired. So let's create a billing now quickly. A01. So this is for creating a sales order. Let's try to choose this sales area. Okay, let's save the sales order quickly and let's try to create the delivery now. Go to the picking. Let's quickly do the picking. PCA. Now let's try to create the bill actually. Let's save the billing document. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to VF03. Let me show you one thing. So now if you look at this document flow, we created an order and uh, we created delivery and we created invoice and we created accounting document, okay? So if I go back, if I go inside, let me show you one quick understanding for you, this document, whether it is canceled or not, how you come to know, different ways. So now if something is canceled, the tick mark will be here. Let's try to either cancel the billing document. Let's go to VF11, press enter and save it. Okay. Now let's go to VF03 again. Let's try to check the document flow. Now, if you look at here, this is the invoice number. This is the cancel document number. Now, if you come inside of this document, go to the header. Okay. And if you look at here, see, previously tick mark was not there. This is one thing like, you know, when you find an invoice in a support project, okay? If you find an invoice in support project, for example, document flow certain times, it is not available in certain projects. So check yes, you can able to see here, like, see, generally 99% of the projects, document flow is not disabled, but certain cases it might be disabled or else, Document flow, suppose it might not be generated or else they have some XYZ security reasons, some typical projects. Okay, you can, when you go to the billing document, you can able to find the cancel status here. That is one thing. And let's try to, let me try to help you out. Okay. So let me copy this invoice number. Okay. SC69, certain times to to give the prob, uh, program logics also, it is uh, helpful. Like if you go to BBRK, okay, we run here, okay, you will find the billing document. In the similar way, if uh, some document is cancelled, you can able to find the status with the, the document category is different and this one is different. Let me try to show you. Before that, before going back to that, let me go to BBFA table quickly. Okay, so here suppose uh, if you give this one as a preceding document, okay, you can able to get all follow on documents. So, for example, if you see this, this is the preceding document, this is the follow on document. The document category is N means it is got cancelled. Okay, so directly if you go to VBRK, uh, uh, okay. If you pass this document, you can able to find the same status. So like, like by using building document, you can able to find in VBFA table and 
if the document flow is not active, you can have, if you know the direct document, you can able to find here. This is the S1 is the cancellation document. You can see this document category is in and all the stuff. Okay. So this is or the, these are two way, three ways. One is like if you go to VF03, you can able to easily find the document flow. For example, this document is missed completely from the database or a document flow. So whether the preceding document is actually canceled or not, you can able to find here. Okay, this is one way. Inside of the document, the cancel, the cancel document status tick that you can able to find whether this document is canceled or not. Okay, this is one thing. And second one is what is that? VBFA document flow. You can able to find it. If you know the direct document, you can able to find in VBRK. So all the all these are the different ways you can able to find it out. Okay, so almost to three to four ways I have shown to you. Okay. Okay, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel to get uh, more input like this. This is my dedicated Udemy channel. Here I have given a lot of explanation. My SD course almost 110 hours. I'm going to add this video as a tip for the same section. This like, you know, something like, you know, what do you call cookbook or else blue book, whatever you call it, total my knowledge transfer is there for sales and distribution, 110 hours, okay? So these are the two recommended courses I prefer because if you already trained on SAP SD, IDOX, it is very, very important. Without this, it is very, very difficult. And second one is getting master to write functional specification. So pricing, uh, like, you know, if you go for uh, certain HANA concepts, see, it, it, this is like, you know, updated for 2024 every time. So whatever I know, whatever the piece of knowledge I found in my project, I will try to update here. So if you're really interested, you can subscribe my YouTube courses. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to get more inputs like this. Okay. Thanks for joining the session. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Jai Bharat. All the best.